Here we go! Fireworks have long been part of October in Metro Vancouver, with people either loving the excitement or complaining about the nuisance. I love the fireworks so much. I'm coming from India. It's always in our, every festivals we used to light fireworks, so yeah, I love the fireworks very much. I don't think it really matters, unless it's like two, three in the morning, it's kind of ridiculous. As long as it's not too late, then it's all right. Now they're banned in most municipalities. That's the case in Surrey. Similar to places like Vancouver, if you want to put on a fireworks display, you need a federal license and a municipal permit. And not a lot of those go out each year in Surrey. Probably three to five for fireworks shows. Outside those shows, everything you hear out there is illegal. Fireworks have been a nuisance for quite a, quite a length of time and specifically the consumer fireworks. Surrey's fire chief says issues usually revolve around the noise, but they can start fires and keep crews busy too. He says an average of 12 to 20 fires each year are blamed on fireworks, mostly this time of year. And so that can be anything from a brush fire to a car fire to a shed fire to a house fire, or even a few years back we had a complete apartment building fire caused by fireworks. City Council is again trying to clamp down on fireworks, with the mayor saying the complaints pour in each year. They're certainly not legal to be um, putting off in the city of Surrey, and so uh, we're saying to people, don't do it. It's a problem. Every single year we have problems. So the feeling was that the fines need to level up. They've basically been doubled. A municipal ticket can now be as much as $1,000. With court action, the penalty can go up to $50,000. The previous fines didn't stop the explosions, and many people already know it's illegal. Well, but that doesn't need to make much difference. You can still hear it in, late in the evening. It's time they enforce the law. Locke says officials aren't fooling around on the issue anymore, and she hopes the changes make for a calmer season. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Surrey.